parts of uh, Virginia and parts of North Carolina, but all of those storms are heading to our south. You can actually see the front associated with what came through yesterday. That's why we have the northerly winds. That's why we, ha we have the nice conditions, and that's why tomorrow will be very much like what we're seeing out there right now. Temperatures in the low 80s, more clouds than sun, but some sunshine. Comfortable with a chance of showers to the west, and by showers west, I'm talking about mainly back towards the Blue Ridge and towards parts of the Shenandoah Valley. Just some showers, not much uh, at all, uh, but it does look like we have a chance for showers and maybe some heavier rain coming up on Wednesday and especially the heat. Yeah. It's not hot right now, Lauren Ricketts, <laughs> but it definitely gets hotter as we move towards the end of the week. Oh, you're right about that, Doug. Those temperatures keep going on up. So if you want summer back and want a little taste of summer, <laughs> just wait until we get into the weekend. Yeah, back. I shouldn't say back because we did already have some uh, some really uh, warm temperatures. Now, uh, out and about, if you're out and about on Tuesday, of course, Doug just said, if you're making dinner right now, outside dining, perfect. I am looking at a few clouds out here, but we are going to be dry for the remainder of the evening. Exercise partly sunny uh, and comfortable as well. We're very comfortable as we continue not only today, but also tomorrow. And of course, some more clouds and sun, uh, sun tomorrow. But we are still going to be dry for the most part. Maybe an isolated stray shower, as Doug was saying, especially back to the west. Pools and camps rain back on Wednesday for everybody. So taking the kid to camp, uh, they really don't need the rain gear, especially if they're outside until Wednesday. You don't need to worry about finding other plans uh, besides the pool until Wednesday. Now the humidity, comfortable tonight, comfortable tomorrow, and then the mugginess comes back through the day on Wednesday. In fact, it rolls in overnight on Tuesday, and you'll feel it by Wednesday morning. So muggy on Wednesday, and then that humidity sticks around Thursday, Friday, all the way through the weekend. The weekend is actually when those temperatures start to go up into the 90s. It's going to feel closer to 100 degrees, if not over that, as we get into the weekend. No rain really, Doug, to uh, uh, dry us or well, keep us wet, I guess I should say, uh, keep us comfortable as we head into the weekend because it looks dry mainly for the weekend. Yeah, and we're looking at a lot of sunshine uh, after Thursday, really on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Nothing but sunshine. A chance of showers again Wednesday and on Thursday. Temperatures comfortable tomorrow on Wednesday. 87, rather warm and humid Thursday, but look at Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's where the heat really kicks in. 95 on Saturday, 96 on Sunday, 93 on Monday. Yeah, a heat wave trying to make its way in here, and heat index will be well over 100 degrees. That's something we'll be tracking for you. Uh, next chance of storms comes next Tuesday, but really, guys, and, and this is some good news. There's no real big area of strong to severe storms that's going to give us another chance for any flooding anytime soon. All right, Doug, thank you. I think I may, I may need to go back and float some more <laughs> for another few days. Yeah. Aches, pain, stress. Sometimes some of us call that just life in Washington. Uh, well, if you've suffered from one or more of these things, you may have been looking to Eastern medicine for some relief because you might be tired of swallowing pills. Well, here's News Force Justin Finch to tell you more about Reiki. At the Bethesda Salt Cave, a respite for recovery, relief, and Reiki. And what's awesome about Reiki is that it activates your own healing abilities. Alex Pierre-Louis is a Reiki practitioner. She says she finds the Japanese healing therapy helps her clients who are weighed down by aches, pains, and stress. A lot of people deal with a lot of trauma and they don't know how to heal it in a healthy way. And everybody can use Reiki to help them calm the mind. Alex channels positive energy to give comfort to her clients. Clients like Crystal, who's seen Alex for years for Reiki. In this treatment, Alex told Crystal about tension she sensed in one of her hands. When I move patients, I move mostly with my right because it's where all my strength is. This level of relaxation is a far cry from Crystal's long and intensive days working as a nurse. She's even encouraged some coworkers to give Reiki a try. Medicine doesn't always have to be the traditional version of like a pain pill. For some, Reiki may sound a bit out there, but Alex suggests giving it a try. Over time, she says Reiki's components, the breathing, the relaxing, the focus on healing can make a measurable difference. With more treatments, you will feel differently. You will be in a meditative state, you'll go into a trance, you'll fall asleep. Justin Finch, News 4. And so how much does it cost? Usually the rates for Reiki sessions can vary, sometimes they're free if you know where to go. Tomorrow we take a look at the Bethesda Salt Cave. Users say salt removes all of the toxins in the air. Justin finds out if that's true tomorrow. I'm sleepy just watching that story. <laughs> Coming up.